Hey guys, my name is Jason Walgan. I'm the CEO slash owner of Pandora Gaming Studios. Um, this tutorial video is to primarily help some UDW, I'm sorry, some UW Whitewater Wisconsin students out that I met at the 2012 Gaming Expo, which was awesome by the way. Um, you guys do awesome work and I really hope we can work with each other in the near future. Uh, and this video is primarily for everyone else too that simply wants to learn how to get in a simple character and make it work. So the first thing that we need to do is is that one thing that I noticed is you guys are trying to do this one way and you were trying to do it another way. There's actually two ways to do it and you were doing it both ways and you're only doing half each one way. Um, and by the end of this tutorial you will understand what I mean by that. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your content browser. We're just going to start from the very beginning here to make it nice and easy. And I am running three monitors, so some things pop up on different screens. So it takes me a second to pull it back onto this screen. All right, since once this is open, you want to find your skeletal mesh. And we'll just use one that's already in, in the code right now. And this is one of my soldiers. This is called Trooper. He's just a temp guy. He's not a permanent guy, but we'll use him. Best thing you want to do is you want to simply, once your character is in here, and once your animation tree is done, that's very important, and once your anim sets are done, those all have to be done. Once those are all done, we can start. So once your package is pulled up, right click. Best way to do it without screwing up reference code is to copy folding in the clipboard. Next thing you want to do is you want to go into UDK. Then from here you want to go into development. SRC, UT game, classes. Blue. Now, this is the way you guys are trying to kind of do it. You're trying to create a pawn class and a bot class. And as you can see here, here's the pawn and the bot class. You are missing a whole other function to do it the way that you guys were trying to do which is up in here. I won't be showing that in this video, but I want to show you that's a whole nother step. So we're going to show you the easiest way and the way that you were doing in Kismet. We're going to work off your Kismet work. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into UT Family Lindori Mail. Open this up. Uh, let's take a look at what I've done in here. Right here it should say UT, it should say um, CH Lindori Mail dot whatever group it's in dot Lindori. This should say something completely different. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but when I told you guys to copy and paste from the content browser, I want you to delete out all the way to the equal sign. I want you to delete that completely out. I want you to right click, paste. Guess what? Your character is now going to be in game. Well, almost, as that's one of the steps. All right, that's one of the first steps. Second step is you want to go back in your content browser. You want to find your animation set. Which this guy is using the default UDK anim tree and um, anim sets right now. But I will teach you guys how to plug in your own anim sets here in one second. That's easy. So you simply, f and I'll just use this as a, a reference. You find your... Uh, animation set that you have ready same thing you would go to copy full name the clipboard come back into here see where it says animation sets right where I the equals I want you to delete all that out right click paste now your animation sets done one of you guys were asking how do you create physics in UDK and I told you that physics is very complex and I'm still learning this side uh, this is primarily the only thing I really don't know about Unreal besides um, some more advanced coding. I'm no programmer myself, but pretty much everything else, uh, I have a very good idea on how to do things. So to create a physics, you want to go find your character. Sorry. Find your character. This is nice and easy. We can get basic physics in there, so at least the engine will give it something to work with. Select your skeletal mesh, right click, see this, create new physics asset, right click on that, this will pop up, name it, whatever you want, 
hit OK. I'm not going to go into this. We're just going to get you basic physics. Hit OK again. And now your character will have physics. But if we hit the play button, it's a mess. I can teach you guys how to tone it down a little bit. Like I said, I have not gotten this to perfection yet. But once I do, I'll make a complete tutorial video on that. And I will definitely let you guys know. So once that's done, you can close out of here. And if you look here now, it's highlighted or yellow box. We have a new physics asset already done for us now make sure you save your package right click save okay next thing you want to do is right click on the physics asset copy full name to clipboard come into here right here delete all this out paste that's it that's all you have to do for this class now I just want to make a quick reference say you want to have two characters in there or a hundred characters in there what not to make this nice and simple this is called ch trooper so i'm just going to copy this and change this mail all right i named this ch trooper mail next thing you want to do is right click i'm sorry click file save as you want to change the reference name to CH Trooper Mail. Don't forget to click all files that you see and you would hit the save button. Okay? This is setting up for character two. Then you would simply go into UT Family Info Linduri and you would come into here and you would change this to CH Trooper. Why? Well, let's take a look. This is called now CH Trooper underscore mail. And this is reading off UT Family Linduri. So naturally, you would come into UT Family Linduri and just change this to CH Trooper. You don't have to worry about changing anything in here. This is all fine and dandy. All right, so don't worry about changing anything in here at this time. Once you have changed the files with this file, we'll come down here and I want to show you a trick. If you have a second character in there and you completely change this name to CH Trooper Mail, you would come down here. And this is the way you guys are doing in the Kismet, so you have to follow this step. You would go down into UT Republic Info. Scroll all the way down at the very bottom. It's the last line of code. You see this right here? This is reading off the package where you just changed your information. Therefore, now this is going to work. Your character will work in game. However, you have a custom animation. Or, I'm sorry, a custom animation tree. You would change this if you wanted to always spawn... The UT default, you're changing the UT default pawn right now. You would always want to, if you wanted to change, you could change this. And you can also change it in Kismet. But if I wanted to use my third character all the time, nonstop, I would just go in and change this to UT Family Info, my character, underscore mail. Okay, I hope you guys are following me there, and you should. So, with that, we need to now plug in our Anim set. Or, I'm sorry, animation tree. You go into UT Pawn. You come into here. Scroll all the way down. Go to Default Properties. You find your animation tree. You would go into your content browser. You would right click on your animation tree. Copy the full clipboard. Come into. Whoops, we don't want that. Come back into your uh, UT Pawn class. Same thing. All the way to the equals. Delete that out. Right click. Paste. Save. Done. Your code's all set up now. Next step is to go into Kismet. The way you guys were properly doing it. This is the half you got right. You go into your Kismet. Scroll down here. Your actor factory, and I'll just redo this quick. Make it nice and easy for you guys. First thing you want to do is you want to drop in a player spawn. Right click here, 
add player start. Bloop. Make sure your player starts highlighted and it's green. Go back into your Kismet. I want you guys from this point on to right click, go to new action, actor factory. Plug in your trigger. You guys should know about triggers, so I won't go into that. Right click, create your spawn point, and create your player start. Very important thing. See, I have these variables in here. Because this is in beta, the Unreal Development Kit, you have to right click and create new object variable. Otherwise, this is not going to work at all. I promise you it will not work. If it works, it is a miracle. Make sure you right click and just go to create new variable. Go into your spawn. Go here, go down to UT Actor Factory AI. And now you can use the UT Bot. You have to do it this way, UT Bot and UT Pawn. Now the way you guys were trying to do it was you were creating your pawn class and you were trying to get this to fire off in here. Because this is in beta, <coughs> excuse me, this does not work. And you're probably like, what? What do you mean it doesn't work? Well, how are you doing it? I promise you, this will not work. If it works again, it's a huge miracle. It will work to an extent, but it's not going to fire off how it properly should. You don't use Kismet for that part. And the next video that I'm going to make here very shortly is your pawns. You will be able to access in your actor classes. You go to uncategorized. Look at this. Here, all my custom enemies, all my zombies, right here. And all you have to do is you would simply select it, right click, scale it to whatever size you want, and that's it. It's much easier, you have much more play around room, and this process is much quicker. That is where you guys were trying to extend UT Pawn into all this other crazy stuff, which is fine. And I'll show you that, in, like I said, in the next video. But just to recap on everything, you want to go change your references in Lindori Mail. That's the only function you have to change at this time to get your basic character in there because that's all you guys are trying to do. That's all you need to do at this exact time. So one more time here. UT Family Lindori Mail. Remember, go into Content Browser, copy the full clipboard, change this, change this, change this, save, done. Don't worry about anything else except your UT Pawn animation tree. Go into UT Pawn. Change that. Done. Save it. Go into Kismet. Do what I showed you in Kismet. This will work this way. One real quick thing I want to reference is, is that once you do change this, this will change the animation tree for the main character as well. It will reference this. So when you do this, you need to make sure that your main character is rigged up the same way as your enemy. However, I noticed your guys' enemy was not... Uh, it's probably not going to be used as the main character... And this next video is what you guys are aiming more towards, but this method will get your character working in the UDK. Um, and what I just teach you will add on to what the next step is. So do this, get your character in there, and by tonight I'll have the next video posted on what you need to do for your zombie bot, your zombie pawn class and how to get this in this is the up here this is what you're seeing in the actor factory in the game this is how this is the class right here how i was pulling those zombies into the game immediately without messing around with kismet and this class is simply extending the zombie pawn class so you guys were almost there we're just missing a few things and if you guys have any questions, you can email me at panzergamingstudios at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.